It's I am Karavitsa day one. We've already had a few teams going through the playing stage. One of them is, of course, OG, and then we have Nexa. I think, first of all, obviously, congratulations on making this through, but I kind of want to backtrack to you know, your decision to join OG and you know how the whole move that happened between uh, G2 and OG over the break, obviously. How do you really reflect on that time? Was it always going to be the plan for you to, to join once you learned that you wouldn't be able to continue with G2? Um, no, it, it wasn't really planned. Like I think I, I thought initially that I would like continue working with G2, right? But I, basically, I was at the crossroads and I had a decision to make for myself, right? Either I keep believing in the project that we have in G2 and keep, you know, like playing uh, with with Hunter and Nico and kind of, you know, believing in this like Balkan um, superiority yeah. core, right? Um, or I, you know, try to maybe look out a bit more for myself, right, and go on a different path and try to mentally reset because it, it's not a secret, right? I had a bad, let's say, a bad year my, myself, right? I think the team did really good, even though we didn't win anything in G2, right? But me, for myself, I had a really bad year and I was like the, depressed throughout some parts of it. And then, like, basically, as I said, I, like, I was in a crossroads and then I just chose to kind of look out for myself a little bit more and do what I thought was right for me and like, you know, kind of not be like, if it's for the team, I'll do whatever it takes for the team, right? So, because that's what I've been doing for the past uh, couple of years, right? So I just decided to look out for, for myself and this opportunity to come to OG just ca came along, right? And basically I, I took a decision which I, like, you know, I was hesitant at first, but now I believe it was the right decision because I am much happier here and I am enjoying myself again. Okay. I think people might maybe have a little bit of the wrong idea of the whole, the whole move then, because I think most people would say from, you know, from kind of like how it was communicated was perhaps that you were kicked from, from G2 and it was kind of a more of like a switch of, a, of an IGL, you know, they were looking into something else. So can you elaborate on that perhaps? I mean, yeah, like with, without going into too much detail, right? Um, like I, I was at the crossroads, right, as, as I keep saying, and I had the decision to kind of, you know, I could have like gave it one last shot with G2 and okay. be the IGL of that team, but I didn't really want to go with that decision. Like, I, I don't know if the guys like previously spoke to Alexi, the management or whatever, right? I'm not sure if they wanted to get him even before. Of course, sure. like the, the leadership and the IGL role has been like a question mark for G2 in, in general, right? I wouldn't be surprised if they like, you know, already made inquiries about Alexi even before, but um, ultimately I told them that like, I don't want to keep by gelling in that team, you know, I want to look out for myself and I want to make a change, I want to do something different, right? And um, basically then they just had to make the switch, right? Like They, they didn't sure. really have a choice, right? But yeah, again, I'm not really sure if they previously spoke to Alexi, if they were already planned, I would say like it's like 50-50. I'm like, I know the guys didn't want me off the team, right? Um, like, I think they would be happy to keep playing with me as the IGL, right? Um, but I feel like it was kind of my decision, but also it was not my decision. So I can't really know like what, what the management was thinking at the time. Okay, I mean, that sounds fair. Um, I mean, obviously there's, you know, constantly kind of like rumors flying around about like what this meant in terms of like IGLing for you. I think there was some rumor going around that Valde was supposed to, supposed to be the, the IGL at first. Is that something you can comment on? Was that uh, ever the plan? Yeah, I can say no, that was never the plan, right? I think Valde was having like some inquiries about potentially joining EG or something like that, right? And it was never a question that he would IGL in this team. Like if, if I was coming to OG, that would be to have a new project of my own to lead and, and build. That's it. So that sounds like um, you're pretty committed to, to being IGL, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, now talking about uh, just uh, joining OG and obviously having a couple of tournaments to play already. I mean, you guys have kind of torn it up. Uh, it feels like you're almost surprisingly good, you know, this this past. You know, obviously successful group stage and successful first stage here. Are you as surprised as other people that, that you know, this kind of like got kicked off so, so quickly? Um, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised, right? Because when I looked at the players when they were playing before, they didn't really seem like they were that good, right? But when I joined the team after like a week or two, I could instantly see that they were way, way better than what their results showed and what they did in, in the previous years, right? And I don't know, I feel like maybe we're like in a honeymoon period a bit, you know, and everyone is like super happy to play now, like, you know, having different type of leadership, more freedom and whatnot. So, you know, like they're, you know, having the, the balls, taking the duels, right? Swinging and killing, dropping 30 bombs, just basically enjoying themselves. So we'll see how long that'll last. But I still think that like, they were not really, some of the players in the team, they were not really used in the proper way. And I think 
like under my leadership or like uh, like since I joined the team they felt much more freedom and they experienced playing like different positions and I think it's kind of you know released some like shackles they had mm. you know in, into playing and I think that's where the, the main like you know the main part of the results come from like I think they all have a really good potential to be really good players um, I think all of them have the potential to be in the top 20 of HLTV right if you have a good year of course um, like they are good enough and um, I hope that under my leadership that we can actually do, do something that I didn't uh, get to do with G2. Now you touched on it a little bit already, but obviously a lot of people kind of look at this switch as kind of like Alexi being kind of like more on the market manager side, you being like the loser ideal who's kind of like going to open up the individuals. Is that, do people have the right idea about that? You think you are a bit more loose than, than Alexi and just kind of like letting the pieces do a bit more of what they want? I think I am definitely a lot more loose than Alexi, right? But that's not like a bad thing or a good sure. thing, right? I think. Um, when you're an IGL, you need to be able to do both, right? Because some players, they need micromanaging, some, some players, uh, they don't, right? And if you um, can help players develop and fit into their roles to learn how to do, adjust, adapt, and, you know, like make the plays themselves, then they don't need micromanaging, which is kind of like when I start off in every team, I pretty much do a little bit of micromanaging to help them, you know, stand on their feet. But once they're able to do things on their own, then, you know, they're like, you know, I, I set them free and then... They, they do basically whatever whatever they want. Cool. I mean, how far do you guys see, think you can take it here? Obviously, you've had a pretty successful run so far. Maybe a couple of shaky points, you know, against Renegades, for example, in the opening game, right? So, how do you think? What kind of a form are you guys in? Do you think this is kind of like a playoffs level, or where, where do you see yourself land, really? Um, well, we are still undefeated this year, you know. Right. So, uh, but no, I think our form is is really good. I think our first goal was to qualify for the main event, right? Now we'll see how in what group we get we get placed, what are our matchups, right? But we don't really have some like over the roof expectations. I think we're just gonna take it one game at a time, right? And see where we stand because again, this is not like a huge sample. We just played like what uh, five, six games, right? So um, I think we still have to learn a lot about ourselves, about our map pool, which maps should we keep you know pursuing and keep grinding and playing and maybe um, swap out some maps in our rotation and play 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 a different one right so it's still like a learning period for us and uh, like we'll be we'll be satisfied with uh, you know wh whatever whatever we do I, I think we'll be happy at the end of the day with whatever we achieve here great thank you very much thank you